My name is Rachel. Welcome to my channel, Learning with Boys. I have four boys, ages 9 to 19. Today I'm going to be talking about my youngest, who is in fourth grade, and we're going to be talking about his science. We're going to show you a week's worth of science. And he is using Preparing Hearts for His Glory from Heart of Dakota. And this is the book they're using right now. They use several um, books throughout the year in the science part of the curriculum. But we're talking about the stars, find, find the constellations. We'll be talking about this. We're going to start on Unit 15, Day 4. I know we're starting at the end of the week, but we're going to show you an experiment and then um, some of the work throughout the week, which will include making a constellation book. We'll show you how we did that, and we'll end with another experiment. So I hope you enjoy watching this video. If you like this type of content, please subscribe. That would encourage me. Video a thumbs up and share it with your friends. I appreciate you all watching. Okay, for our Preparing Hearts for His Glory, we are in Unit 15 and Day 4, working on an experiment. And this is the book we're using, Find the Constellations. This is what you're looking at, and here's the experiment page that we're going to work on today. Okay, our science experiment today says turn to the science experiment section on your sketchbook. Now we have printed these off, so this is the page he's going to look at. And this is the first question, and it's also mentioned in the book, so you don't need the pages. Everything is right here. So the first question is, how can the size of a star affect how bright it appears? And then it wants you to do a, a hypothesis or a guess. Okay, we just asked the question and then he told me the answer of what he thought and I wrote it on the board so he can copy it in his paper. He said the bigger it is, the more light it has and that makes it brighter. Okay, he's filling out his hypothesis that he told me, and I wrote it on the whiteboard for him to copy it. Okay, so he's done his hypothesis. Now we have to get out what we need, and we're going to need a sheet of paper. It says lay a sheet of paper on a table, cover a flashlight lens with a piece of aluminum foil, and make a small hole in the center of the aluminum foil. Turn off the lights in the dark room. Okay. So, what will we need? Flashlight and that and <laughs> Okay. We also need to get a piece of paper. You want to get a piece of paper? Okay, what they want you to do is take the flashlight, put aluminum foil on it, and just start with like a pencil opening to see the light. This light was very bright. My oldest son brought it to me, but we made it work. We brought it down instead of eight inches. We brought it down to six inches. And then my son would just trace the circle and write what magnitude it was. So that would be the fifth because it was the smallest. And then we would just make the pinhole a little bit bigger each time, sort of looking at the page, the different sizes, the different magnitudes. And by the time we got to the last one, it was pretty much too large for the paper. But that was okay. It was a good experiment just to understand the terminology of magnitude and how it does get larger. Okay, I'm going to show you what this hole looks like. We started out with like a pencil hole and just got bigger and bigger and bigger. So, and that just gives you an idea of the magnitude. And this is, we only did it three times. Um, so. Okay, he is writing a conclusion and drawing a picture of his experiment. Okay, we're going to be doing the science out of Preparing Hearts for His Glory. And this is um, week 16, day one, actually. Um, and today it says we will be making a book. And that's what we're going to work on and sort of show you. Um, how we're going to put that together. Week 16, day one, we are working on Find the Constellations, and this is what our book is going to be about. Okay. 
Okay, what it wants you to do is to actually make a booklet, and this will be something that you will use over the next seven units, and it will be adding different constellations. They want you to have a dark or a black sheet of paper for the cover. All I had was a dark blue and a light blue. I let Marshall pick, and he picked the dark blue. And about three sheets of regular paper that you need to fold. They want you to staple it, but I have made booklets without staples before. It's been a while, so we looked it up on YouTube, and that is what we are doing. We're following the directions. Measure two inches on the fold. You will measure two inches on each side, as I'm doing there. I'm getting Marshall to fold all the papers for me. And then you'll open it and fold it down and just sort of cut a slit up to those two inches. So after you do that, you just need to do that to one sheet for your booklet. So I did one for Marshall and then I did one for me. He's helping measure because on the next couple pages, you will still measure two inches down and two inches up on all your folds as we are doing there, trying to show Marshall to actually come down on the two inches. So this was a fun little craft almost at the same time. I think he enjoyed it because he does like to write and he thought, hmm, this wouldn't be a good idea to make a book. So he is measuring there and then you actually cut in from each side two inches after you've marked that. Okay, once we measured in the two inches on the corners, we go ahead and cut up to that two inches on the extra two sheets of paper. I'm having Marshall do his, he's already done his measurements, so he's making sure he's doing it right. Then I will show you how to roll. I'm gonna take the two pieces of paper with the cuts on the end. You're gonna roll that and then slide it in to the slit there and then unroll it. I don't do the best job of, of unrolling, but it does come together. And then you have your book. And you can do, add more pages, I'm sure. You just have to cut the slits in. Helping Marshall with his, mainly because he forgot to cut the slits on the end there. But he actually does a better job about putting it together than I did. So once he's got it cut, he does the same thing. I want to make sure you roll that lengthwise there. He sticks it in the slit. Mommy is trying not to help him. As you can see, I want to touch, but I say, no, I've got to let him do it himself, and he does a much better job than me. I didn't cut his slit the best. I think I messed up a little there, so we just did a little stretching, and it all came together. Now, we want to glue it so the one page, the first page will actually be glued down to the inside of the front and the inside of the back. So that's what he's doing. And all kids love glue sticks. So he started on his. We only had the one glue stick. Need to stock up on those for sure. And we got those finished. Glued down. That you want to cut out a white piece of paper and copy Psalms 147, 4 and 5 on it. So we're just going to do that on a piece of notebook paper and let him cut that out and glue it on the front. Okay, we go ahead and write out the verse and get it on the booklet. We did write the title, which was Constellations. You're supposed to write it like in a white colored pencil or marker, which I would suggest a marker would have been better. Okay, it actually wants you to go ahead on the first page inside the book, draw one or more of the following constellations. I think we're actually, since we took so much time to do the book, that tomorrow we just have to read. We're going to 
do our constellations for page one. We'll actually save it and do it tomorrow after we read. Okay, the first thing they want us to do, which we did not do yesterday, was to draw a couple of the constellations that we've already talked about, and then we'll do some reading. Okay, we went ahead and made the cup, couple of constellations from day one. We did our reading from day two, and we went ahead and did day three's reading, which had a few questions. And that's what you see here, and he's filling out the answers. We went ahead and did this so we can do day four and have Friday off. Okay, for day 16, I mean, I'm sorry, unit 16, day four, we have our last experiment for the week, and we are actually supposed to read pages 16 and 17 out of here first. Um, my son has read the directions, and that is a good um, idea just to train them to see if they can follow directions just by reading it. He said we needed a glass bowl, some aluminum foil, and I guess we'll need the scissors to cut the aluminum foil. So, and we will need a flashlight, which we will get in a minute. But he's going to go ahead and read these two pages, and then we are going to show you the experiment. Okay, he f worked on reading those two pages, which were pretty interesting pages. They made you go back and look at a page that was further in the book that is more of like, you see the constellations in the sky. I think he liked those two pages and probably will go back and look at them again. After finishing, we went ahead, he cut out the aluminum foil and then you were to fill the glass bowl with water. And we did that, did a little crinkling of the aluminum foil, got the flashlight ready. Touch it again, a couple spots. really gives it more of a wave up there now and the camera does not give it justice but it's pretty okay he is we forgot to do the guess and the hypothesis but that is okay he's still gonna draw what he did draw a picture of the experiment and the results and then he will write out the conclusion which I probably this time will just let him copy out of the book which says stars appear to twinkle as the light rays are bent or refrained when the rays move through the earth atmosphere. Okay, I appreciate you all watching that video. If you have any questions, please post below or if you have any suggestions or any thoughts about the curriculum and our week, please share below. I'd love to hear from you all. And I hope you all have a wonderful week. Thanks again for watching.